views like crazy and i'm like well i guess that really means that that pumpkin carving video boring <laughs> boring hey careful guys it's careful keith back in this so how you guys doing today uh, i'm doing something a little different this is going to be my third video um i've already did you know pumpkin carving and i did a blog so <clears throat> i have been thinking like what's next what am i gonna do now and i've been wanting to do a book bang for quite a while so i just decided to go for it because like anything else like when i very first started this channel it was like just go for it just put it out there just do it just it is what it is so today we're gonna be eating some veggie pot pie that was prepared in careful k's kitchen i'm gonna do a little thumbnail I know that thumbnail probably looks scary, <laughs> that's okay. So I don't really know what time it is right now, but when I woke up this morning, I was kind of like scrolling through YouTube and I ended up running across Miss C. She was doing a carbon carbang, which is like a mukbang, mukbang car edition. And as I was watching her, I was like, you know what? Maybe I should just go ahead and just do it this morning. I don't know what time it is. I'm not sure if I just said that a couple minutes ago or not, but excuse me. I just decided to go ahead and do it. This is food that, like I said, I had already prepared myself. So I'm just going to get started. First, I'm going to take my vitamins. So what I have right here is orange juice with pineapple mango probiotic mix. And it also has like chunks of pineapple and a couple orange slices in it. This is my fusion. This is something that I drink um, daily, and I make it on a week. And I make it on a weekly basis. It contains apples and oranges and kiwi and lime and uh, pineapple and grapefruit. Um, and I also put coconut water in. If you guys are curious to know what it's like in order for me to make that, just let me know and I'll kind of throw it into a future vlog. But first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my one multivitamin and my two B12s because you know I gotta keep this body nice. So that's the reason why I got the orange juice. Um, the B12, they are gummies. They taste amazing. And my one multivitamin. Uh, you can see the orange and the pineapple chunks. Okay, we're done with that. We might eat the pineapple chunks at the end. We'll see how things go. But that's pretty much done, so I can move that over out of the way. <clears throat> So in this veggie pot pie that I made in Careful Case Kitchen, it contains celery, carrots, potatoes, corn, peas, green beans, mushrooms, and cauliflower. It is really good. I'm not just saying that because I made it myself, <clears throat> but it is really good. Okay, so we're gonna dig right in. So like I said, I was scrolling through YouTube this morning and one of Miss C videos popped up from when she was doing early voting. Oh, what this is right here, this is like some of the extra filling that went on the inside of the pot pie that I had kind of like left over. So I've been kind of like including it whenever I've been eating pot pie because I didn't want to throw it away. So why not? I mean, it's good anyway. So Miss C was out doing early voting. Um, not sure where Miss C lives or anything like that, but she was out doing early voting and she was talking about how while she was out there waiting, the line was so long and it was a church's chicken like close by. So she decided to do the, the car bung, car bang. <laughs> I can never. <laughs> so she decided to do the car bang because it just, I don't, I really don't know if it's buying or bong, even no matter if you put the car in front of it or the mook, I don't know, or muck. But anyway, so she said she decided to go over to Church's Chicken um, to get some food, and that's when she did it. And um, she had some interesting conversation. You know, I was laughing. Um, like I said, I will put her link in the description below. Um, 
and you guys can go and check her out i think she's funny i actually subscribed to her prior to me starting my own youtube channel um but now that i have my own channel um i just resubscribed to her today this morning while i um when i came across the video this is really good it is it's hot too like i literally just I'm getting better at like the whole like setup and everything. So I got all of this stuff set up within like 15 minutes and like started preparing the food within like the past, well, within like the last like five minutes or so. So things are definitely improving on that aspect of things. So I know you probably, guys are probably thinking. He was gonna drink orange juice and then just go straight to eating pot pie and it's like early in the morning because it's probably like nine something in the morning i don't really know what time it is but it's like nine something in the morning yeah um so hopefully you guys have had like a pretty good week um i've always wondered like what would i talk about if i ever do a mukbang and so far my mind is still blank so i'm just gonna just be rambling <laughs> I'm just gonna be rambling. Whatever comes up is what's gonna come out, you know. So I'm okay with that, and hopefully you guys will be also. So on yesterday, I got a chance to well last night, I got a chance to like start catching up on how to get away with murder. Do any of you guys out there watch that? If so, comment down below. Um, the newest season, I want to say five. Now I could be wrong. It could be six. Don't quote me on those numbers. I don't know. But whatever the newest season is, I just recently started watching it. I would say like maybe maybe a few days ago because I've been really behind on like a lot of TV shows and everything. My DVR is just full. Yeah, of shows that I need to watch. Not full to capacity, but just shows that I need to watch. And excuse me, I just haven't had time. I, I just haven't between like my really crazy work schedule and me trying to start and figure out YouTube and think of ideas and it I just haven't had time to really focus in on like sitting still watching TV. So anyway, like I said, I started it and um, just like all the other episodes well, like all the other series, um, series, all the other seasons. <laughs> This one is good. Also, it really is. Um, Annalise never disappoints. She doesn't. I don't even know what episode I'm on right now, but the only thing I do know is before I fell asleep last night, I did pause it. So I'll be able to just resume it uh, here later on today. Yep. Do you guys like Popeye? I had been thinking about Popeye. Um, it just kind of like was one of those things that just I kept thinking about it. So I was like, well, if I keep thinking about it like this, why not just make some? And so I went grocery shopping and I did not record that. So I went grocery shopping and I honestly had forgot about the pot pie and I was just going around just getting like random things to like meal prep and whatnot. And if you guys want to see what a meal prep for me typically looks like, let me know. Like I said, I also make the fusion water, so just let me know. But uh, going around getting things to meal prep and I was actually going to do like salads this week, but I ended up walking past celery and then I was like, hold on. I said I was gonna make pot pie. So then everything kind of changed and I ended up being in Kroger like 30 additional minutes because now I was trying to figure out everything that I needed for the ingredients for, excuse me, so gassy this morning, but the ingredients for the pot pie. So I got everything and then I came home and I was like, yeah, 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 I'm about to go ahead and I'm just gonna make this into a video. Oh yeah, I'm like, they're gonna be able to see Careful K's kitchen and you know, see me meal prep and you know, just, I'm not meal prep. Well, I guess that is meal prep for this one particular dish. They're going to be able to see all of that, all of that, and just watch me from beginning to end. Now, granted, I would not have left it in there to the point where you it would have been like literally second by second. I would have sped it up. I would have. I'm still, you know, learning the whole editing thing, but I would have sped it up. I wouldn't. Have, that that would have been too much to watch because I want to say meal prep 
probably took a lot probably took about 30 minutes so i wouldn't have not the whole 30 minutes no it would i would have still just kind of sped it up and cut the video down but i'm gonna tell you what ended up happening so i'm trying to get these lights set up I'm trying to get this, this this camera and this tripod everything set up and this green screen right now i still have not quite figured out how to edit in things with this green screen but i'm gonna leave it back there just in case by the time that i hear to post this video you'll see something cool in the background that means that i did figure it out if you see just the green screen back there well i did so that's that anyway so i was trying to set everything up and um it just it didn't work it didn't i like i kept trying and kept trying and kept trying look how look how that papa looks on the inside I kept trying and kept trying and kept trying and it just it didn't work with like the angles and the lighting and it just it didn't work so I still have to figure out that particular part exactly how I'm gonna do cooking with Keith or at least showing you meal prep I will figure that part out I promise I will um, I'm just gonna need a little bit more time to kind of figure out the angles and maybe I need to get another tripod um, I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but I will figure it out. So I ended up just saying, forget it all. And I went ahead and I just um, cooked. And after it was over, I was like, well, so what is my next move? Am I gonna do a mukbang, mukbang? or am i gonna do like another vlog what am i gonna do so i was kind of bouncing ideas around and i was like well what if i do a vlog and then just kind of like throw in like clips of a mukbang or like throw in like when i was trying to like set up the cameras and stuff but then i made a mistake and i deleted i know i know i made a mistake and i deleted the footage from when i was trying to like set up everything because for me what i'm having to do on my end i like set everything up and then i push record and then i kind of go back and i'll look and see what the angle looks like on the camera so you can guess it's always going to be like bloopers and unused footage so that's what i was gonna upload uh just kind of like stick in if i decided to do it into a vlog instead of a mukbang but i ended up deleting it by accident i did my bad it's gonna be more bloopers in the future so no worries about that um so i ended up just you know doing this right here um and so far yeah like i said i'm still rambling <laughs> conversation in my opinion is not about anything really it's just kind of like all over the place but that's okay Mm-hmm. You know, this weather has been really crazy too. I was um I was at work yesterday and the low for yesterday was like twenty seven. However, I got some friends of mine, some buddies who live in different places around the country. So even though it was twenty seven here Let's try 17. I was just like, oh no, no. I was like, where do we live? Like, <laughs> this shit has to get better. All right. This could be against the law for it to be just cold. All right. Who do we send a letter to? A fax, an email. Who do we write? A text, something like that. Because something isn't right about this. Mm -mm. And I know it's somebody somewhere that can change it. <laughs> this pie pie is really good y'all it is it is really 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 good i've been trying to think of like what am i gonna do for my next like meal prep and so far i haven't come up with anything um something that i might have a taste for are like um cauliflower wings have you guys ever heard of those um I make those quite often. I would say 
like every few months or so. I think that's often in my opinion, every few months or so to make cauliflower wings. They're really good. Um, I remember back when I was kind of like watching, for instance, like Prissy P. She, and this shit was hilarious. I'll put her uh, link down in the description also uh, to that particular video. When she did the Buffalo Wild Wings Challenge, that shit had me in stitches. Like that is still one of the funniest video. And I was just like, this is so funny. So this is what I ended up doing like around that time. I ended up making cauliflower wings. Now, granted, at that particular time, I wasn't thinking about like doing the whole YouTube thing. So, of course, I didn't record it. But I ended up making cauliflower wings. And with them, you use that kind of sauce. So, I ended up going to Buffalo Wild Wings and getting that sauce, that Buffalo Blazing. I think that's the name of it. That's some high ish. Oh, oh, that's some high ish. So I thought about like, should I like re-upload that even though that's like a really old challenge, you know, because technically it would be doing it my way because it's not really eating chicken, it's eating cauliflower wings, which cauliflower is a vegetable with just that particular sauce on it. So who knows? If you guys want to see that, you know, let me know. That could also be a future video. I could maybe like show me cooking the wings. And then like later on, on um, well I could I could show like cooking the wings and then speed that up because that's not really a long process. The longest process of that is actually the baking part of it, or you could fry them. I don't really do a whole lot of fried foods personally, but to each his own. Um, so I could do that like a time lapse, like with the prepping and cooking part and then do the challenge on the other end or maybe two separate videos i don't know i'm still i'll still figure that out and i'm still trying to like figure out an intro and everything else like i've been thinking of like cool ideas but it's much harder than i realize you guys it really really is like i'm comfortable sitting talking in front of the camera and all that because i'm like always on snapchat you should follow me on snapchat k three one t h eight nine i'm always like on Snapchat talking about random stuff and doing random things but actually coming up with ideas for youtube is a lot harder than i ever really thought of so my hat goes off to these youtube these big youtubers who have hundreds of videos and tens of thousands of subscribers because this is not easy it's not, and I know why, now. I now know why when certain YouTubers get to a point, they no longer work anymore because they have to focus full time on this. I totally get it. I totally get it. Now granted, I've seen some videos of people like, well, you can balance YouTube and working full time and going to school. And I'm thinking to myself, how? But then it depends on what your school schedule is like and what kind of job you have. Everybody doesn't have, you know, the same type of occupation. Me personally, mine is very demanding. My schedule literally changes daily. I don't have set hours. Even when I go to work, I don't have set hours. My job is done when all the assignments are done. So things are a little crazy. It's a little hectic, but um, it's the career path that I chose and I thoroughly enjoy it. So. That's that. But, um, yeah, this YouTube thing is something. I don't know how long this video is, or how long it's gonna be, but one thing I have noticed with a lot of these eating shows, they're not really quick because people are talking and then it just depends on how long it takes the person to finish eating. Now I will say this: this is more food than I normally would eat. And if the people, for the people who truly know me, and for one, for you guys who will get to know me, if we like ever meet and greet or anything like this, this is way more food than I normally eat. But I was like, mukbangs, you know, they eat large quantities of food. <laughs> so I was like, I gotta beef it up a little bit, you know. Um, that's probably the reason why I'm eating a little slow because mm, I'm getting a little full, but. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish it. I am. 
and then I'm probably gonna do something I shouldn't do, which is probably take a nap. <laughs> but, oh well, I'm not gonna take a nap though. I'm gonna, I got some new editing software that I'm gonna try to really poke my brain and figure out and kind of bounce some ideas off a buddy of mine who, um, who also is doing uh, YouTube and kind of get some ideas and tips from him about this whole editing software. So that's what I'll be doing shortly after this video is done. Well, that and also cleaning up. Yep. They're so flaky. Look at there. It's really good, y'all. It's really, really, really good. So yeah, like I said, I might do cauliflower wings next meal prep. Um, or something I haven't had in a while, which is really good, is vegan chicken, sa vegan chicken salad sandwiches on cauliflower. So what I'll do is use cauliflower to make bread. I have like these keto molds and it's like in the shape of bread. So I'll use cauliflower to make the bread um, <clears throat> and then make the vegan chicken salad and then put it on there and it'll be a sandwich. I haven't done that in a while. I might do that. That actually sounds pretty good. It does. I don't know why I'm so gassy this morning, you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. But I might do that because I haven't had that in a while. And that's like a pretty simple thing to make. It is as far as like the, the vegan chicken salad. Now, the cauliflower bread, that takes a little time because, of course, you got to bake it. Then you got to flip it over and you got to bake it on the other side. But I think I might do that one. Hopefully, I can have everything set up. And even if I don't release it. Hopefully I can at least just record it. Um just in case you guys would be interested to see what that's like. And then again, I might just end up similar to this situation. Um just doing a mukbang, eating it. Um so I know you guys are probably like, what does cauliflower bread look like? Yeah, it actually looks like bread. Like, really. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> you know how some bread it has like shapes in it, it'll kind of like go like that. Well, this is just a square. It is, it is, but it's bread. It holds together. Um, it'll hold the the vegan chicken salad on it. Mhm. Mm I've also done cauliflower crust pizza before. Cauliflower is a very versatile vegetable that you can use to make a lot of things. I've made cauliflower rice. I've made, like I said, cauliflower crust pizza. That pizza is really, really good. And it's a really good alternative to bread, in my opinion. Um, and it's all veggies. The crust. Um, well, I'm not going to say all veggies because, well, the cheese is non-dairy cheese. So it's vegan cheese. But um, outside of that, it's all it's all veggies and it's good it is i haven't had that in a while either um but i know coming up at the end of next month i'm gonna be taking a trip and um i'm gonna be eating a lot of pizza Stay tuned for that. I'm going to do a pizza eating challenge. The objective is to eat pizza until I puke. I know that's probably like gross and you're like, ew, but that, hey, I'm going to see how much pizza can I stuff into my body until I just cannot eat anymore. <laughs> Excuse me. And this is going to be eating at like several different pizza places. I'm not going to tell you exactly where the location is just yet where I'm going to, but I will say it's not here where I live. Um, that's going to be like an end of the year travel 
blog, eating challenge, or whatever. Yeah. Um, I will say going forward, I have traveled quite a bit this year so far. And the only difference is now going forward, whenever I travel again in the future, I'll just record more. I have a lot of pictures, still frames, but actual video, I don't really have a lot of it. But going forward, I will. I'm going to make that a priority of mine to um, take videos of things that I do while traveling and actually when I get to wherever I'm traveling to. Because I think that would be kind of interesting to kind of like plug into a blog about traveling or just me rambling and then just kind of like insert little snippets of it. I think that would be interesting, in my opinion, being a YouTube viewer on other people. I think so. Yep, so that's what I plan on doing. When you guys would like to join in on this pizza eating challenge, um, feel free. I'm going to do it, I want to say, December the 31st. If not December the 31st, either the 1st of January. Between one of those two days, the pizza eating contest will take place. And um, hopefully at least, you know, hopefully nothing goes wrong with like the camera and <laughs> just things that could go wrong that I've already found out so far and I've only, this is only gonna be my third bit. Oh, speaking of that, listen, I'm up to like over a hundred subscribers now. I am so, so, so happy for that. Now granted, that might not mean a lot to a lot of people, but to me, to literally go like after two videos to now I'm like over a hundred subscribers and like maybe this is now, Mm, day like number when did I post that first video I don't even know what 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 number what day I'm on now but I would say like two weeks yeah for sure so I don't know if it's like 14 15 16 17 days I'm not really sure of the time frame but I am so 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 very thankful I have over a hundred subscribers now um and that blog video is just like just getting just views like crazy and i'm like well i guess that really means that that pumpkin carving video boring <laughs> boring and look that's okay it's my first video i'm gonna leave it up i'm not gonna change it because you have to start somewhere and that'll be a good motivational tool for me you know if this was my stepping stone this is where i started i only want to see myself you know continuing to grow and to keep pushing and to keep thriving from there so i'm gonna leave it the views are low that's okay i'm still happy i put it out there and you know it's all about getting exposure everybody's not gonna like everything everybody puts out and that's okay too so thank you guys so 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 much for giving me over 100 subscribers in like just a matter of a couple weeks um, I'm gonna keep pushing, keep grinding, and I have very big dreams and hopes for this channel. I wanna do a lot of cool things, and all of that stuff will come in due time, once I kinda really figure out my niche. But as of right now, I'm kinda thinking like it's gonna be a little bit of everything, cause I kinda like different stuff. But of course it all, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say it weighs 100% on well, I don't know. Because if the my extended family is what I'm going to call the careful case, if my extended family doesn't watch, it's not something that they're interested in. So it is going to weigh heavily on what you guys want to see me actually do. So that's the reason why I'm kind of like doing different things. And I don't know what I'll do next for my fourth video. But we'll just kind of see where the traction goes, the views, and some comments, and I guess I'll just kind of figure it out past that. But let me finish eating because this video is now getting kind of long, and I know you guys are like, he just talking and talking and talking. When is he ever going to shut up? Because I completely just have been rambling and mumbling, and then I thought about subscribers and all over the place, but I'm going to finish up here. And plus, my food is getting cold, so...
I'm not gonna eat those pineapple chunks because I am getting full. I'm not gonna eat them. Listen, I'm done. I think that's pretty good from all the food that I had when I first started. That's all that's left. I think that's pretty good. I finished my orange juice when I took my vitamins. And I'm drinking, I don't know, maybe a fourth of my fusion water. Put my fruit in it. So, <clears throat> drink a little more of this. So I want to thank you guys for coming back to watch my third video, which is my mukbang, mukbang, whatever this thing is called. Oh, listen, speaking of that, I had thought about like making like a, um, a new name for it for my, for me personally, because like I said, I don't normally eat this much food. I eat every two and a half to three hours. So I thought about this making something called Mies, M-E-S. It's going to be called mini eating series because I do every because I do because I do eat every two and a half to three hours so it won't be large quantities it'll kind of just be like a protein bar or a salad or a banana or an apple or some almonds things like that that's what I pretty much eat on a day-to-day -day basis so I thought about doing that let me know what you guys think about it I thought I mean it's me in the way that I eat so it wouldn't really be considered a mukbang mukbang because of how often and they'll be like, damn, he always eating. How many times does he eat a day? Uh, I'll probably eat a day about six times, maybe, from the time that I wake up until, well, I don't eat as soon as I wake up because I wake up, shower, get myself together, but from the time that I actually get my day going until the end, some days is six times, some days is less, some days is more, depending on how many hours that I'm out and about and doing various activities. So, Thank you, Careful Case, for watching my first mukbang, mukbang eating show. Um, like I said, this was veggie pot pie that I prepared myself in the kitchen. Um, apologize for deleting the footage because I would have included some of the bloopers, but I just don't have them. And uh, until next time, Careful Case. Oh, 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 hold on. Wait. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave comments. Let me know what you think, what you don't think. Um... If you liked it, if you don't like it, because constructive criticism does actually help people improve on things. Um, also, any kind of ideas, topics, anything that you would like for me to discuss. If you want to see more mukbangs, mukbangs, and things that you probably want me to talk about in those, um, also feel free to leave that in the comment section. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I think that's it. So until next time, careful case, you guys be nice. Pace. No, I don't like that. I don't. Mm -mm, no, eh, I don't like that. So until next time, careful gay. Care Shit. <laughs> I've gotten all the way to the end and I cannot get it together. So until next time, careful case. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.